Well, I'm from the Midwest originally, a small town in Kansas, and so one of the things I've uh, taken pride in as an FCC commissioner is the amount of entrepreneurship and innovation we see in the Midwest nowadays, and there's no better place to see it than Sioux Falls, and so when Senator Thune invited me to come, uh, I jumped at the opportunity. Now, you went on a tour yesterday. Uh, what did you see and what did you take away from that tour? Uh, so in the morning, we visited a few small businesses uh, in downtown Sioux Falls. Uh, one, Blend Interactive, that's doing some really in interesting things uh, in terms of web design. And uh, one, uh, Chelsea's Boutique, that doesn't have anything to do with communications, but is using the internet in really innovative ways to reach uh, all 50 states. And then finally, uh, CH Patisserie, which is using the internet to uh, source products that, uh, yeah, that otherwise they couldn't source. And so they're bringing to Sioux Falls uh, literally a taste of something that uh, the city hasn't really seen before and so uh, in the morning I got a, a chance to see what some of these small businesses are doing and in the afternoon I visited with a variety of telephone companies, cable companies and broadcasters uh, to see if there are FCC policies that we can adjust or get rid of or adopt uh, that would help them do what they do best and that's to connect people in Sioux Falls and frankly throughout South Dakota uh, with advanced communications opportunities. Cool. So what was your takeaway from, from that meeting? What did they say? Uh, so one of the things they said is that we have to understand that the uh, proposition, the business proposition in rural America is very different. It costs a lot more money to, for example, string out uh, cable or telephone lines across thousands of uh, square miles, whereas in a place like Washington, D.C., where everyone's packed in, it's not as expensive. Uh, similarly, on the broadcasting side, uh, it's local news really does matter quite a bit, and some of these local broadcasters, uh, like Kello, are the only ones who we're going to be able to compile that information and supply it to uh, the viewers. And so that's something we need to take into account when we uh, adopt our policies regarding broadcast news. Very cool. So for people here in, in Kettle Land, or we call this place Kettle Land, but. Uh -huh. Uh, how, what would you explain as far as like what the FCC does? Uh, so we regulate uh, the whole communications industry, broadcast, cable, TV, internet, satellite, uh, and by and large there are five uh, commissioners who uh, are appointed by the president and confirmed uh, by the Senate. Uh, we all have fixed terms of five years and uh, only three of us can be of the president's political party. I happen to be one of the, uh, the Republicans, I'm in the minority. Um, and so the five of us together will try to work collaboratively to create a regulatory framework that allows innovation to thrive and for all Americans uh, to have access to communications uh, services. And uh, obviously a lot of people use communication services here in, in Sioux Falls, but I mean, what yeah. do you do that, that, that kind of affects people here in South Dakota? Uh, one good example uh, that I haven't mentioned thus far is uh, wireless spectrum and infrastructure. So all of us, especially young people, seem to have uh, mobile devices uh, surgically attached to them. And uh, those aren't useful unless we have the towers and we have the spectrum that's available uh, to help those communication signals travel back and forth. And so especially in rural America, uh, as again, where I'm from Kansas, uh, I want to make sure that uh, people in Sioux Falls and from a lot of the smaller towns across South Dakota uh, have the same access to the wireless networks that people in big cities do. And uh, that's, a, that's a critical differentiator because if people can't get those uh, services in rural America, they'll probably move to the bigger cities outside South Dakota to get it. A big topic for you guys, I'm sure, is net neutrality. Can yeah. you give us some kind of background on, on where you stand on it? Uh, so net neutrality, uh, w which is a pretty controversial topic these days, it involves the basic question, what should the government's role be in regulating the Internet? And uh, thus far over the last couple of decades, one of the great things about the Internet is that it's thrived free from government regulation. And that's a direct result of the bipartisan agreement that then President Clinton and Congress had in 1996 not to uh, saddle this new innovative space with uh, regulations. And so now the question is, uh, should we go back to the old way way of regulating the uh, telephone monopolies and treat the internet like essentially the electric company or the water company, or should we give uh, broadband providers the maximum incentive to invest in infrastructure? And I tend to be more in the latter camp. I think that, especially in rural America, we want to give the private sector all the incentives possible to you know, lay these uh, broadband internet net, uh, connections uh, so that everyone can enjoy them. Why do some people say it, will, it could destroy the internet? I, I think there is a lot of uh, chicken littleism, I guess so you would say, that uh, you know, if you don't regulate something, uh, the worst is going to happen. But to me, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, we haven't had open internet regulations or net neutrality regulations for the vast majority of the internet's lifetime, and it's thrived nonetheless. And so I think that, especially in the current environment where you have all these new competitors, uh, you know, companies like Google and these over-the-top companies uh, uh, coming in to supply these same services, um, I 
tend to think the market is going to do a pretty good job of solving the problem. And if there are isolated problems of a broadband internet provider doing something bad, then that's one thing. But for the FCC to take a, a heavy-handed, generalized, um, uh, you know, in interventionist uh, look at the industry, I think it's something that would harm consumers in the end.